Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna teach you something that's gonna improve your win rate. So, for example, if you were getting around 40% win rate, you were gonna get around 60%, 65 and even 70%. This is a very powerful technique that most people sleep on. But I've been implementing this one small tip that I'm going to teach you in this video and in my recent trades, I have been implementing that in my recent trades and it has helped me significantly. So, let's suppose that on EU, we took out ERL on the daily time frame. So remember the time frame alignment. We have the daily time frame, then we have the 1 hour, and then we have the 5 minute 4 hour entry. And this is the time frame that I trade. You can trade the weekly 4 hour and 15 minutes and other ones that I've thought before. I'm not going to go into detail in that. So I trade this one most of the time, this time frame. So on the daily, I look for ERL purge. Once that happens usually, normally, what I would do is I would then look to target this fair value gap after confirmation. So once the ERL was taken, I would then look for a market structure shift on the 1 hour time frame, and then I would wait for price to come back into the 1 hour PD array, then look for another market shift on the 5 minute, and then we target this low. But for me, that is just so much work, to look for like 2 market structure shifts. That is something that a lot of people just. If it was that easy, everyone would be rich. So what I mean by this is the thing I'm about to teach you is called the SMT divergence confirmation. Now hear me out, I'm gonna teach you the exact way to use this, and that's gonna just blow your mind how well it works. So instead of looking for, you know, the 5 minute market structure shift as well, what you want to do is on the daily time frame. So there are two ways to use this technique. So listen very carefully. On the daily time frame, you first of all look for SMT. So basically, if you are looking at EURUSD, you would look at guest. So let's assume that on EURUSD we took out the high, we took out the external range liquidity. And we have internal range liquidity here. But on GU, what happens is we create a high, but then we fail to create to take it out. So on EU, we took out the high, we took out the external range liquidity. But on GU, we failed to take out the external range liquidity. Now that, my friends, is SMT divergence. But SMT is not confirmed yet. So to confirm the SMT, what we will do is we will look for one hour market structure shift on Euro USD before price takes out this high. So let's suppose that the market should shift doesn't happen on EU, right? And after some time, price takes out the high on GU as well. And on EU, we didn't get market share, then that SMT is invalid. However, if price stays below this high and then we get a 1 hour market structure shift, as soon as that happens, your SMT is confirmed. So that is a perfect SMT. That is confirmation that we are going to go down. Now, once you get the 1 hour market structure shift, instead of looking and dropping down to 5 minute time frame to look for another market shift, market structure shift, I'm going to directly enter from the PD array that is presented to me on the 1 hour time frame after market structure shift. So that would be my entry, and I'm going to take some partials along the way, and then I'm going to target this as my loss target. Now that is one method on how you can implement SMT divergence into your trade. But most of the time what's going to happen is you will not get SMT on the daily time frame because that is a very high time frame, it's not the highest, but it is a high time frame. And looking for SMTs on the daily time frame can basically be quite hot. It happens, but not that much. So you do not want to be sitting on your hands and looking for SMT on the daily time frame. But let's assume that you do not get SMT divergence on the, the daily time frame. So what you would do is then you would normally look for a 1 hour market structure shift. Now what that does, it confirms the bias that we're going to go to as the internal range liquidity. So remember price only does two things. It goes from external range liquidity to internal range liquidity, or from internal range liquidity to external range liquidity. External range liquidity is every single high and low. And internal range liquidity is a fair value gap. Every single fair value gap. So now that you get a market structure shift on the one hour time frame, then you can look for SMT on the one hour time frame. So this is how it's going to look like. So basically, 
price creates another high on the one hour time frame. So you get a market structure shift and you also have a buildup of liquidity or a high. And then on we go up ahead and we sweep out this high over here. Now once we sweep out that high, we want to look at GU. Did we sweep out the high and GU as well? So let's suppose that this is GU, right? If we haven't taken out the high on GU, we took out the high on EU after the one hour market structure shift, then that could become an SMT divergence. But we will drop down to 5 minute time frame and then we will look for a market structure shift that is going to confirm the SMT divergence. Guys, listen to me very carefully. What I'm teaching you right now, I know this sounds, this may sound a bit complicated and useless to some of you, but I promise you, it works really well. I'm going to give you guys of examples as well. Implement this in your trades. No matter what model you are trading, just do this. So you would then look for a 5 minute marker such as shift. And once you get that, you target this as your first target. The 1 hour low. And then you target the daily time frame internal range liquidity. SMT divergence is basically a cheat code in your trading model. If you use it, your win rate will go higher. Who doesn't like a higher win rate guys? Okay, so that is pretty much it. Just look for SMT divergences. There are two methods. The one is looking for SMT on the daily and then the other is looking for it on the one hour time frame. Now let me give you guys some examples. Alright guys, so here is example one on how I would trade this entire setup. So on Euro USD, you can see that we created a higher high, higher low and then a higher high. But if you look at the same highs and lows that were printed on GU. So we have this high over here. So this high is this high on Euro USD. But notice what happened here. We failed to take out this high on GU, but on EU, we took out this high over here. Now the SMT is still not confirmed. So to confirm it further, you can also see that after we took out ERL, we had this fair value gap in the discount. So that is our draw on liquidity on the daily time frame. Now of course SMT is still not confirmed. Why? Because we want to see. We want to see a market structure shift on the one hour time frame. Let me just mark this out real quick. Let's drop down to one hour time frame here. You can see it right around this level. What do we have? We have a shift in the market structure. And we still failed to take out the daily high that was on the GU. So our SMT divergence is confirmed. Now, what you can basically simply do is just take your entry from any inefficiency that is present. So you can basically see we have this fair value gap that you're going to have taken your entry from. Now, if we look at it here, so let me just do the analysis correctly. So we have another SMT on the one hour time frame. So let me just show you where it is. So if you look at it here closely, this high on EU. And also look at this high on GU. Now if I mark this high out like that, you can see that this high was not taken out on GU. So let me just go here real quick. This is the high, right? And it goes to this level. Alright, perfect. And also somewhere around here. So this was the SMT on the one hour time frame as well. Now, to confirm that SMT divergence, what we would do is we would simply drop down to 5 minute time frame to confirm it even. Now, since we had SMT on the daily time frame, we can basically take our entry directly from this level. You can also see we had this order block here that you can have taken your entry from. But now let's drop down to 5 minute time frame and see what happened. You're going to see that this is when we were not in the kill zone time. So remember, we want to be taking our entries. If we are trading on the 5 minute, we want to be trading during the kill zone hours. That is very important. And you can see that we have a bunch of liquidity here. And we have original consolidation just around here. So that is a bunch of liquidity buildup, equal lows around this level. And also the market maker model is present here. So now you can clearly see that we got our shift in the market structure somewhere around here. After we tapped into that PDA rate that we discussed before, and that makes the win rate, the probability even higher. So just around here, first of all, what do we have? We have the change in the state of the delivery. I do not recommend that method. 
I always wait for the lows to be broken, for a market shift to be powerful. Change in state of delivery is also good, but I always recommend that you look for market structure shifts. So now we have a breaker block. And of course, this is with the benefit of hindsight. It could be different if you are looking at it in the live markets. You might be taking your entry somewhere around here or here. But I'm showing you how well it works. So we have a breaker block. Look at the precision here. We tapped right into this and we had a beautiful drop to the downside. So if we took your entry on the one hour time frame, you would be fine. You would absolutely murder it. So let me just shot it right here. Each top would go right above the other block. And you could have basically taken 1 to 2 or even 1 to 2.5 because this is our draw on liquidity around here. So I know this is too much to consume. But if you have been watching my old videos, this should be easy for you. And this should be easy for you to understand. Look for SMTs in the key levels. So for example, when the YRL is taken out, look for the SMT, first of all, on the daily time frame. If the SMT is not present on the daily, then look for it on one hour. And remember, SMT is always confirmed when you get a market structure shift on the lower time frame. So for example, if you get SMT on the one hour time frame, you would look to confirm the SMT by dropping down to the five minute time frame and looking for a market structure shift before the other pair or asset doesn't take out the high. So for example, if this high was taken on EU, you wouldn't expect GU to take out the high before you get a market structure shift. Otherwise, the SMT will be invalid, guys. I'll end the video right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video.